King Charles has reportedly decided not to grant Meghan Markle's demand for the prestigious Duchess of Cornwall title, and instead plans to bestow it upon his granddaughter, Princess Charlotte. This decision has sparked a new wave of controversy surrounding the ongoing tensions within the British royal family. According to sources close to the palace, Meghan had been lobbying for the Duchess of Cornwall title, which previously belonged to Queen Camilla, the current Queen Consort. Meghan reportedly believed that the title was rightfully hers by virtue of her marriage to Prince Harry, the younger son of King Charles. However, the king has apparently decided to take a different course of action, with the intention of honouring the legacy of his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II. The plan is to grant the Duchess of Cornwall title to Princess Charlotte, the second child and only daughter of Prince William and Kate, the Princess of Wales. Discussions are underway but the favoured outcome for the king is that this title ought to go to Princess Charlotte, a source told the Mail on Sunday. It would be a fitting way to remember the Queen, who, of course, had the title Duchess of Cornwall, and a way for His Majesty to honour the line of succession. The decision to bestow the Duchess of Cornwall title on Princess Charlotte is seen as a strategic move by King Charles to solidify the future of the monarchy and ensure a smooth transition of power. By passing the title to his granddaughter, the king is not only honouring his mother's memory but also recognising the growing importance of female members of the royal family in the line of succession. Charlotte's position is historically significant because she is the first female member of the royal family whose place in the line of succession will not be surpassed by her younger brother, the source added. So it is constitutionally significant that Charlotte should be given such a corresponding title because it is not beyond the realms of possibility that she will accede the throne if, for example, Prince George does not have children. Meghan, on the other hand, is reported to be deeply disappointed and even outraged by the King's decision. In her view, the Duchess of Cornwall title rightfully belongs to her, and she has been vocal about her desire to claim it. The title is mine by right, Meghan is said to have declared, according to sources. I am the Duchess of Sussex, and I deserve the same respect and recognition as any other member of the royal family. The tension between Meghan and the royal family has been simmering for years, ever since her marriage to Prince Harry and the subsequent fallout that led to the couple's decision to step down as senior royals. The ongoing feud has been further exacerbated by the couple's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which they made several damaging allegations against the royal family. The latest development in the Duchess of Cornwall title saga is seen as the latest chapter in the ongoing power struggle between Meghan and the monarchy. Some royal experts believe that Meghan's demand for the title was a calculated move to assert her influence and claim a more prominent position within the royal hierarchy. Meghan has always been driven by a desire for power and recognition, said royal commentator Penny Juna. She sees the Duchess of Cornwall title as a symbol of her status and influence, and she's not going to back down without a fight. However, others argue that the king's decision to bestow the title on Princess Charlotte is a strategic move to ensure the long-term stability of the monarchy. By passing the title to the next generation, the king is effectively securing the future of the royal family and sending a clear message about the importance of the line of succession. This is a bold and decisive move by the king, said royal historian Robert Lacey. He's not only honouring the legacy of his mother, but he's also sending a clear signal about the future of the monarchy. By passing the Duchess of Cornwall title to Princess Charlotte, he's reinforcing the idea that the royal family is a dynamic and evolving institution, one that is committed to adapting to the changing times. As the drama continues to unfold, it remains to be seen how Meghan will respond to the King's decision. Some speculate that she may attempt to challenge the move or even take legal action, while others believe that she may simply have to accept the reality of her diminished status within the royal family. Regardless of the outcome, the battle over the Duchess of Cornwall title is yet another testament to the ongoing power struggles and tensions that have come to define the modern British monarchy. As the royal family navigates these turbulent waters, the world will be watching to see how the drama unfolds.